Theros Beyond Death has provided some awesome new legendaries for us to pick through and pick out some commanders. Yes, in this video today, we're going to talk about the top five commanders from Theros Beyond Death, and the video starts right meow. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel Our Magic. Theros Beyond Death Commanders. We are going to pick some out and show you some cards that might interact with them in a spicy way. But first, if it's your first video with us, we appreciate you watching. If you want to stay up to the minute with the latest decks and strategy for Commander, Pioneer, Historic, Standard, Brawl, you want to talk about MTG Finance, News and Specs, or you just want to see us open some booster packs, go down there and do what Jake's telling you to do and click that little subscribe button. Button. Whenever a new set comes out, everybody starts brewing around the new commanders, the new legendary permanents that exist, the new legendary creatures, and we have five really fun creatures that we're going to talk to you about today uh, that could be the helm of your new commander deck. Absolutely. Let's jump right into them and we'll talk about the strategies that we would play alongside them as we go. We're going to start with Croxa because we've already covered Croxa on the channel and it just happens to be a personal favorite of mine and Jake's when the set was getting spoiled. Enters a battlefield, sack it unless it escaped. Whenever it enters a battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card and then each opponent who discarded a land this way loses three life. Am I reading that correctly, Jake? Uh, yeah, this, uh, it has some really, really fun wording on it. But yes, each opponent who didn't discard a non-land card this way loses three life. So we have a fun discard engine on this card, but then also in addition to that, uh, we have, a a Punisher mechanic. Yep, we've got a and Punisher also, mechanic built in. Then we've got to escape. let it go to the yard. Right. If you want to escape it. So... This card keeps coming back, and it hits hard, it hits fast, and in the right shell, I think it can close out a game very quickly. I would have to check with a rules committee member or somebody who knows what they're talking about truly with Commander, but I'm pretty sure that Croxa never is going to be hit with the Commander tax because unless it gets exiled. If it dies and goes to the graveyard, you can recast it for four and exile five cards from your graveyard. Your opponents really have to exile Croxa to get him or stuff him back into the the library to get him back into the command zone if i'm not mistaken yeah but it, but also it's important to keep in mind that its ability is limited by how many cards are in your yard yeah so eventually absolutely you are going to have to go in there but it's nothing to shake a stick at no your casting cost is super low i think if you built this deck you would absolutely run Toper Orb. We've already talked about the card on the channel. Probably and so. And I think that would be a really fun way to get a 6-6 six, six out on, you know, as early as turn 3 or turn 2 or depending on, uh, uh, well, yeah, turn 2, obviously, but... Um, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I would run sick. I would think about running some smaller creatures that have, you know, death touch or when it enters a battlefield target opponent discards a card, some some quick abilities like that, so that you can put some early pressure on your opponent's life totals. They empty those, or they kill those, they go into the graveyard, you've got some stuff that you can empty to get Croxa back. You know, also have some utility creatures that if Croxa is just not working for some reason you can unearth them and bring them back from the graveyard or put them back into your hand from the graveyard stuff like that add oh, yeah. some extra yeah. value for yourself i found this card when i was going through it pain magnification whenever an opponent is dealt three or more damage by a single source that player discards a card so if they discard a land they take the three then they've then pain magnification triggers and they have to discard an extra card i thought that was a pretty dope little interaction yeah, that's a super that's a super fun card, and that's a fun card that you track down there. Um, yeah, and I think it does kind of exemplify uh, what you can do with this commander. Obviously, I don't th I don't know if it's going to be CEDH type material, but a lot of commander players are pretty casual. Yeah, we're definitely coming from a casual standpoint. The, the card is very attractive. It's yeah. a very fun card, and I can't wait to brew with it. And I love Rakdos colors as well. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. Next up is Perforos Bronze Blooded, and this is a What's little... What's that supposed to mean? This is a... That you I'm like Rakdos kidding. colors? You do like Rakdos colors. I know. I have a, I have a character. 
Perforos has a cheat ability here down at the bottom, which is the main thing that I'm focused on. It's an indestructible cheat engine, essentially. Uh, red and two other, put a red creature or an artifact creature from your hand into the onto the battlefield, then sack it. Um, what better creature or artifact creature to sneak into the battlefield than a creature that can attack an opponent who's not prepared to deal with it and take them out of the game just like that? Now, is this a card that I am randomly mis misremembering? Is this card legal in EDH? We know 100%. I am almost 1 million percent confident that this card is okay. legal in EDH. All right, cool. Because, uh, yeah, we, we have totally kind of whiffed there in the past, but we're we're going to take a chance. No, uh, I, I love this interaction, and, and really I am pretty much just memeing because that is a it's a 12-cost card, so... Most likely, if you can get the Blightsteel Colossus in EDH, you deserve to swing with it with its trample and its infect. And I do think it's really, really fun that with the new Perforos, we can cheat it onto the field alongside other shenanigans, I'm sure. But yes, this is like the holy grail of what you could swing with that could close a game out all by itself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, moving on, we've got Athreos, Shroud Veiled. This is one that I in particular am interested in is probably going to be my first commander from this new set. Now this is the buy a box, correct? I don't know the answer to that. I Maybe. think this is, yeah, yeah, because I can see it there at the bottom of the card, buy a box promo. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. It is uh, reading the card explains the card. Um, at yes. the beginning of your end step, put a coin card, put a coin counter on another target creature whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or is put into exile return that card onto the battlefield under your control i love this you can and okay so i'm thinking about you know like if you're building this in paper getting custom coin tokens made so that you have these like really you know just like super flex on them coins that you put on the creatures and you're like that creature will be mine one day and Jake and I were talking about this. Why not let's play board wipe tribal with Athreos. Athreos is going to survive. Anything that gets killed that has a coin counter on it's going to come to you. I would this this would just be such a fun deck to play. You're constantly wiping the board. With these colors you can wipe the board of creatures and artifacts and enchantments pretty easily over and over again. So you just keep the board clear and keep everything on your side. Yeah, and oh man. When you're doing this to people's commanders, oh baby, that is just naughty. I naughty, wonder. Naughty. I, I would. This is another rules question. I would have to ask somebody who's way smarter than me. Yeah, if you know, drop it in the comments. Yeah, let us know about Athreus. Seriously. Do you have? If I put a coin counter on your commander, do you have the option when that commander dies or is put into exile to put it into your command zone before it returns to the battlefield? under my control please let us know in the comments below because but i mean anyway you, you there's still gonna be I think huge beefy based threats based on based on the wording when the creature dies you're getting your effect right so you're not able the the commander isn't hitting the graveyard over there is it oh i guess it would hit the graveyard yeah because it dies first it dies whoops i went i jumped ahead there first it dies then it's returned to the battlefield under your control I don't know. It's interesting. Somebody who's a smart Either rules way, person, you're gonna be know. you're gonna be getting a lot of value out of it. Unless oh, your yeah. play group is a bunch of people that aren't playing creatures, you should be getting a ton of value out of this. Yeah, because, yeah, that's really the only thing that would really make this deck stagnant. Oh yeah, like dude, you can put this on anything that says like innocuous as like a Yavamaya or so, anything that has like a fun ETB, a reclamation sage, you name it. Right. Put your coins on those first. That way, when you blow up the board, you're getting a double whammy on all of your board wipe. Oh, you, all your reclamation sage comes into into control under my side. I'll destroy yeah. your big enchantment. Hit your, hit your mana crypt. Slow you down. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's 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 an excellent card, and it, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to building it. That is something I, I, I like a lot from this set. Next up is Clothis, a three cost, four, five indestructible, which is, you know, maybe standard applicable, but we're talking about commander today. I like that bottom, bottom clause. Otherwise you gain two life and Clothis deals two damage. So to each opponent, which is huge here. So you yeah. get to number one in red, green, you get to screw with anybody who's playing 
doing any kind of graveyard strategy. You get to take out their best targets, exile them out of the yards. Um, if it's land, you can get some extra mana, which is, I mean, it's one mana in EDH. It's probably not going to move the needle too much. But otherwise, you gain two life and Clothis deals two damage to each opponent. So why don't we build Clothis as a kind of a, a group hug to death kind of kind of deck run a lot of earthquake effects run a lot of damage to everybody effects and play furnace of wrath i mean you've got some experience with damage to everybody decks with your Karavik deck yeah it, it's a really really the effect you're describing is really painful to think about just the fact that it's coming online is you know with a land war elf as early as turn two yeah i mean, I mean any any just... mana dork it's online turn two i keep hitting the wrong yeah, button dude it's it's a it's a pretty hardcore card man um, yeah yeah just having it passive i would never have it become a creature and worst case scenario is it becomes a creature and now it's getting in for four right. so i mean it's yeah it's really really good the thing about these gods uh from the theros sets and why i'm so particular to them or are so inclined to like them is my favorite edh deck is my mono black Erebos deck and exactly what you're saying i rarely want erebos to become a creature because it makes it easier to deal with an indestructible enchantment is very specific and difficult to deal with you have to have a card that says exile target enchantment with or target player sacrifices an enchantment right very, exactly very niche yes yeah, yeah. exactly it's fairly fairly niche you know it, i'm it's not out of it's not uncommon for someone to run a card or two cards like that in their deck but definitely not as common as you know destroy target creature or exile target creature now once it becomes a creature then all of the exile creature effects all of the exile all creatures any of that stuff target player sacks a creature this kind of thing all that comes oh, online yeah. as more options for them to be dealt with but up until that i mean it's i love erebos because it's an, an indestructible greed that says players can't gain life that's just it's just beautiful beautiful to oh yeah around. yeah exactly yeah. so hard I for mean, them to eliminate yep moving it's to a, it's a big appeal to the set and it's it's worth noting that uh with theris beyond death um the sets are known to to bring very good commanders we be it erebos or or karanos or i mean heliod like there's tons of there's tons of great options and, oh yeah um, I'm really excited to see how these cards pan out. Let's talk about Terra Terranikia. Terranika. Veteran. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce the name here. Terranika, a Croan veteran. Uh, this is this is kind of like for me um, a go wide, go quick, turn one ones into four fours, but also base it in equipment because that's going to be the thing that kind of puts it over the edge. But with this, you're going to want to play a lot of really fast mana rocks. Make sure that you can cast this quickly and over and over again if it keeps getting removed. You're going to want to be explosive right out the gate. And so, um, yeah, that's that's kind of where we fell on this card. But it's very it's very cheap, very humble. Uh, I think yeah. it's a, a fun mono white option. You're gonna want to you're gonna want to have some kind of token generators that's hard for your uh in, your uh, opponents to deal with. Maybe lands lands that tap to create yeah. one ones. You know, for some mana things like we that. We have plenty of those. Plenty of right. those lands. Oh yeah, exist. you have you definitely have options. You're also gonna want to make it. I mean, a four four is not that hard to block successfully, even if it is indestructible for a turn. And so you're gonna want to pair it with stuff that gives it death touch, gives it life link and makes it a little bit more of a decision for them to want to block it. You can also, Jake was hinting hard at the equipment sub-theme as well, you can also get things like Argentum Armor and you can get things like World Slayer and, you know, add uh, uh, Batter Skull and add your Stoneforge Mystic so you can go and find the ones that you want and make it so that when this thing is swinging indestructibly, it is dealing, it is destroying a permanent, it's destroying all permanents if they don't block it, you know? Things like that that really incentivize a block and give you value off of them blocking that indestructible 4-4 somehow. You know, get your swords, uh, fire and ice, peace and war, all the, you know, all the different swords so that you get a little bit of value back when that 4-4 swings. And yeah, past that, it's, you know, put a lot of pressure on their life total as quickly as possible. 
Yep. And then have some big splashy stuff like Sun Titan and all of that coming up in your like mid to late game curve. Make sure you can get cards back that are important. But other than that, I think it's a fun card. Do I know if it'll be like a really, really good commander? I don't know, but I'm interested in, in brewing with it. Yeah, absolutely. That brings us to the end of our top picks for the new commanders from Theros Beyond Death. We are excited, excited to play some commander with this new set. It has given us a lot of spicy new toys to play with. Jake, do you have any final thoughts? My final thoughts. What do you think they'll be? Um, my final thoughts would most likely be did I do a good life? <laughs> so you're talking about your actual did we, final did thoughts. Did we do enough? Did we do enough? Did did I, I, could could, could I, I have tried harder? Enough? We could really appreciate you watching, like we said. What, if you what are your mind, final thoughts? My final thoughts are maybe if our uh, our viewers here would hit subscribe, that would really help us out. If you want to support us further, we got a Patreon. The link is down in the description below. Before you, you die, wanna, that's what you're going to say? And if you want to hang out with us, <laughs> you can come hang out with us on Twitch. We're streaming most Tuesday and Thursday evenings. I am tapped out. I'm going to go write my will and testament.